Hey everyone, welcome back. Ready for another deep dive. Always. Awesome. Today we're heading over to Cork, Ireland. Ooh, nice. We're going to explore Black Rock Castle. Okay. This is a spot with a seriously long history. How long are we talking? 500 years, give or take. Wow, that's a lot to unpack. It really is. And to guide us, we're using an excerpt from a newsletter called Love Ireland. Sounds like a perfect source for this. I think so, too. Yeah. It's full of all sorts of Irish lore. I'm already intrigued. Me, too. <laughs> and what's really cool is how much Black Rock Castle reflects the spirit of Cork itself. Oh, interesting. How so? Well, you know, Cork has this reputation, right? Yeah. Rebel City, isn't it? Exactly. Yeah. And that rebellious streak, that resilience, yeah. you can see it woven right into the castle's foundation. I'm starting to get a picture here. A tough, defiant kind of place. Exactly. So let's rewind the clock a bit. Okay, where are we going? Imagine it's the 16th century. Got it. Ireland is under pressure, right? From England, I'd imagine. Exactly. Mm -hmm. English expansion is a constant threat. Makes sense. And Cork, being this vital port city, yeah. It becomes a prime target. Makes sense. A gateway to trade, influence, all that. Right. So how do you think Black Rock Castle fits into all this? Well, if Cork is this important hub and England wants to control Ireland, uh -huh. they got to control Cork. So Black Rock Castle sitting right on the harbor. Yeah. It's got to be a key defense point. You nailed it. It becomes this crucial line of defense against English advances. Makes perfect sense. Hold the harbor, hold the city. Exactly. And the Love Ireland newsletter mentions a specific attack in 1601. Oh, tell me about it. This was during the Nine Years' War. Okay, big stakes then. Big time. Black Rock Castle is outnumbered. Oh, no. They're bombarded by English forces led by, get this, George Carew. Oh, I've heard of him. Notorious, right? The worst. But despite all that, Black Rock withstands the siege. Wow, that's impressive. Talk about resilience, right? Yeah. It's like a physical embodiment of Cork's determination really speaks to that rebel city spirit. It really does. Yeah. So fast forward a bit now. Sure. Cork continues to grow, right? Yeah. Becomes more and more important. Yeah. And what happens to Black Rock Castle? It doesn't just sit there. I imagine it had to adapt somehow, right? It totally does. It shifts from defense. For sure. Administration. Yeah. Think of it like Cork's very own 16th century city hall. Okay. But with a much more imposing facade. For sure. Yeah. But as we move through time, even that role changes. Uh, so what comes next for the castle? Well, it becomes something even more amazing. A cherished public space. That's quite a transformation. From fortress to community hub. Isn't it an amazing picture this? Walking through those historic grounds. Okay, I'm picturing it. Soaking up the atmosphere, those incredible views of Cork Harbor. It sounds lovely. It is. Families picnicking, kids exploring. Maybe even a few couples finding a romantic spot. Uh, yes. But as you wander those grounds, you might find something else that catches your eye. What's that? Something unexpected. A link to the castle's past, but with a totally different purpose. Okay, you've got me hooked. What is it? An observatory. No way. Inside the castle? Yep. A blend of history and astronomy. That's a twist I didn't see coming. I know, right? So how did that come about? Well, in a way, is almost a return to the castle's roots. Wait, how so? Well, think about it. Back in the day, soldiers would scan the skies. For enemies, ships, that kind of thing. Exactly. Now, instead of threats, they're looking for... A knowledge, inspiration. Yes. Black Rock Castle becomes a gateway to the cosmos. I love that. From guarding against earthly foes to embracing the universe. Isn't it cool? And the Love Ireland newsletter mentions they have these interactive exhibits in the observatory. So it's not just for serious astronomers then? Nope. It's engaging, accessible for everyone. And get this, they have an annual celebration. What's it called? Castle Day. Sounds fun. It is. They have live music, storytelling, historical reenactments. And they go all out. They do. And they have actors in period costumes bringing scenes from the castle's history to life. That's fantastic. It's like stepping back in time. You can practically hear the clang of swords, the murmur of the crowds. It must be incredible to experience. It's truly immersive. It really connects you to Black Rock Castle's heart and soul. Absolutely. And speaking of connecting with the past. Yes. The newsletter also shares this really touching story from a reader. Oh, I'd love to hear it. Her name is Kathy Burke. She remembers visiting her grandfather's farm in Ballyhonies. Sounds sweet. It is. It paints this beautiful picture of rural Irish life. Uh -huh. Simpler times. Work in the land, family gatherings, all that. Exactly. It really resonated with me, you know? Yeah, I get it. It's like, even amidst all the grand historical stuff. It's the personal stories that really hit home. Right. 
And for me, it speaks to these enduring values that have shaped Ireland. What do you mean? Love of the land, a strong sense of community, those deep family ties. Values that are reflected in places like Black Rock Castle, I bet. Exactly. It's a reminder that history isn't just dates and battles. It's about people's lives, their struggles, their triumphs. And the legacies they leave behind. Well said. So before we go any further, let's take a quick pause. When we come back, we'll explore what Black Rock Castle reveals about Ireland's journey through time. Sounds good to me. That story about Kathy Burke and her grandfather's farm, it really got me thinking, you know. About? About how strong that Irish spirit really is. Yeah, definitely. Like all those changes BlackRock went through. Defense, administration, public space. But it's like that same spirit runs through it all. Huh, that's a really interesting point. Right, one structure, but with all these layers. Of history, meaning symbolism. BlackRock's kind of like a microcosm of Ireland itself, wouldn't you say? I think so. Adapting, overcoming challenges, finding its place in the world. Yeah, I see that. And you know what else struck me? Mm. That observatory. Oh, yeah. Talk about embracing the future. Right, from those soldiers watching for enemies to... Studying the stars. It's pretty amazing. Mm -hmm. Makes you wonder what else is out there, right? Totally. And you know what's cool about that observatory? Yeah? It's not just about looking at the stars. What do you mean? It's about sparking curiosity, getting people excited about science. Oh, I see. Like those interactive exhibits mm -hmm. makes everything accessible. Yeah, the newsletter mentioned one about the Corconian universe. Oh, yeah. Isn't that cool? Bring the universe right down to your backyard. It's a great way to make astronomy feel relevant, you know. For sure. And it highlights something else about Black Rock. What's that? It's where history and science kind of collide. The past informing the present. And the future full of possibilities. Well said. You know, before we started this deep dive, mm -hmm. I thought Black Rock Castle was just another castle. I get it. But now, I'm seriously thinking about visiting. Me too. Yeah. And I bet our listeners are as well. Mm -hmm. It's more than just sightseeing. It's an experience. A chance to connect with something bigger. You know, I was just picturing myself there. At Black Rock. Yeah, standing on the ramparts, feeling the wind, looking out at that harbor. Same view people have been enjoying for centuries. Exactly. And then walking through those rooms. Those old stone walls. So much history soaked into them. It'd be incredible. Like you can feel the weight of the past. But it's not just a somber place. Oh, right. There's laughter, kids playing, new discoveries being made. That blend is what makes it so special. Ancient battles, cutting edge science, that Irish spirit weaving through it all. You said it perfectly. Black Rock Castle really is magic. It makes you think, reflect, connect with all those stories across time and space yeah this love ireland newsletter really outdid itself it sparked something that's for sure absolutely and it reminds us that even something as simple as a castle it can hold a whole universe of stories stories that connect us to the past to each other and inspire us to keep exploring beautifully said so before we wrap up this deep dive let's leave our listeners with one final question to ponder Ooh, i like this if you could go back in time Experience Black Rock Castle at any point in its history. 500 years worth of choices. When would you choose? And why? Would it be those intense battles? The political intrigue? Or maybe exploring the cosmos with that modern observatory? What a question. Black Rock really does offer so much. Each era with its own unique appeal. So much to discover. It really makes you appreciate how enduring its allure is. It does. So with that thought-provoking question in mind, yes. we're going to wrap up our deep dive into Black Rock Castle. I hope our listeners are as captivated by it as we are. I think they are. But for now, we'll say goodbye to this incredible place. Until our next deep dive, may your curiosity lead you to even more fascinating discoveries. Wow, what a journey. Eh? I know, right? I feel like we just crammed in, like, centuries of Irish history. And architecture. Oh, yeah, and astronomy. All thanks to one castle. It really shows you how much one place can hold. All that significance packed into Black Rock. Yeah, it's a good reminder that history isn't just like abstract. Right. It's tied to these actual places we live in. Absolutely. And, you know, I think some people might hear Castle and think, oh, that's old stuff. Yeah, like it's frozen in time. But Black Rock proves how wrong that is. They change and evolve right along with us. Exactly. Yeah. And that's what makes them so fascinating to learn about. All that. <laughs> Ingenuity. Yeah, and how our relationship with the world has changed. Like from those soldiers watching for ships. To building an observatory to study the stars. It makes you wonder, 
What's NEC XT for BlackRock? A hundred years from now, 500, what will it represent? Whoa, that's a great question. History never really stops, does it? Nope, and BlackRock's part of that story isn't over yet. One thing I is for sure, though. What's that? BlackRock Castle is going on my travel list. Mine too. I bet our listeners are feeling the same. Yeah, it's just <laughs> so captivating. It really is. That mix of history, imagination, yeah. those big questions about the universe. You can't beat it. Well said. All right. I think it's time to say goodbye to BlackRock Castle. For now, at least. Until next time, everyone. Keep exploring. <laughs> keep asking those questions. And who knows what fascinating discoveries you'll make out there.